Hi, today is Wednesday, January 27th, 2010. If you've noticed, uh, newscasts are starting to slowly forget about Haiti. Um, that happens because it's not news anymore, because everybody learned a little bit about it and because there's not much to follow, apparently. Well, uh, there is other political turmoil going on. President Obama is trying to stay afloat, delivering his State of the, of the Union speech. Uh, President Harper is also trying to remain there after his bad decision of proroguing Parliament. He's now focusing on mothers and kids. And um, that reminds me that societies are always trying to cope, trying to deal with their issues, but also harming each other in many, many different ways. There is an author that talks beautifully about it with a hypothetical situation, but that is, it, in its own metaphor, uh, it's quite meaningful. That's Ensayo sobre la ceguera, or blindness in English, by José Saramago. You may uh, watch the movie uh, with Julian Moore, Gael Garcia, some others. It's, it's a very interesting story, but the book is it's beautiful. Imagine if one day you just wake up and as you're walking on the street or driving or going to school, picking up your kids, you just go blind. Darkness happens, and this happens to everybody else except for one person. And what happens after that? Well, that's how the story develops and how we interact with each other, how we form groups, how we try to cope with situations. It's an interesting read and um, I'd love to hear your feedback about blindness. If you read the book, if you've seen the movie, or if you take the chance now to read it and talk about it. Um, that's it. Miércoles 27 de enero, mi libro de hoy ensayo. Uh, sobre la ceguera de José Saramago, un libro maravilloso que también ha sido llevado al cine. Eh, nos habla de una historia hipotética, filosófica, eh, de una ciudad donde de repente todo el mundo empieza a perder la vista, excepto por una persona. Y cómo se relacionan los unos a los, a los otros después de esto, eh, cómo una sociedad, un grupo, uh, puede favorecerse a sí mismo, pero al mismo tiempo herirse, maltratarse y tratar de buscar sus propios intereses. Esto cuando en, en política hay un terremoto social en, en Estados Unidos, el presidente Obama tratando de mantenerse al margen y aquí en Canadá el primer ministro eh, también tratando de mantenerse a flote eh, y poco a poco se van olvidando de la situación en Haití como suele suceder hasta que otro evento catastrófico sucede en los próximos días. Eh, buenas noches y hasta pronto.